if one asks about is the temperature increasing or decreasing? It's always doing one or the other. I have no concern about that. By asking people to worry about whether it's going up or down, you're immediately establishing dishonesty. The Earth is always changing. Climate change is nothing you have to prove. Uh, it always is happening. It always has happened. So to make that into something alarming seems to me little bit weird. Um, sea level is a hard thing to measure actually. At any given place, traditionally, sea level was measured by what are called tide gauges. A stick in the water basically. And two things change what a tide gauge shows. The land moving up and down and the sea moving up and down. Most places it's the land that is the biggest effect. So you don't have a good measure of sea level rise. On the other hand, uh, for the last 30 years or so, we've had satellite measurements that are actually measuring sea level. Uh, it's very hard to relate these two measurements to each other. They were measuring different things. The general feeling is there is no evidence that it, it's different now than it has been for the last few thousand years. It's been slowly rising ever since the initial rapid rise after the deglaciation 12,000 years ago. Uh, the claim that we've suddenly seen a big change in that, given we've changed the instrumentation and given the error bars cover the difference, is uh, not entirely uh, fair. And to suggest that what's been going on for thousands of years is something we should suddenly be alarmed at uh, also doesn't seem reasonable. When you hear a Ban Ki-moon saying, life as we know it will cease if we don't do something, what is he referring to? I don't know. I mean, man is adaptable. Uh, people retire to the Sun Belt, not to the Northwest Territory of Canada. Although catastrophes certainly occur, they have many causes of which global warming is one of the least. There are so many interesting questions in climate. We still do not have a complete handle on why we had ice ages. Now, you know, if you want to be concerned, you want a disaster having two miles of ice on your head is, is problematic. And the Earth has had that. It's very much a matter of the unchallengeable assertion. All religions have dogmas. Dogmas are not proven statements. They're assertions that cannot be challenged. It doesn't mean they're false. I mean, I'm not even suggesting that. I'm simply suggesting that it's a bad idea to have anything that can't be challenged. And, and the trouble is, all of us scientists are government employees, even if we're working for private universities. All research is supported by the government. So as such, uh, we're very sensitive to what politicians say and believe. And that's a shortcoming. You have to figure out how to fund science in a way that there are no incentives to artificially promoting things. You know, when you hear, for instance, a scientist saying the science is settled, you know that person has stepped out of the science. Uh, so, you know, I think that registers with ordinary people. And whenever you see someone say, you know, instead of answering arguments, uh, how could so many people agree if it weren't true? Uh, this should be a red flag. Well, my view is one has conflated the trivial, which is that temperature is changing, climate is changing, man plays some role. There's not much disagreement with uh, predictions of disaster that uh, are not connected clearly to warming or to our activities or to anything else and leaving people with the thought that uh, if the first part is true, the second part must be true. That is certainly not the case. 
and then to add insult to injury, to propose policies that would have nothing to do with any of it, but involve trillions of dollars and harm to many people, uh, is, I think, uh, crossing the line.